Good morning! Okay, yes, I look a little bit scary. This is how I look first thing in the morning. I'm going to remove my jewellery and get straight into just how I usually do my skin on a regular day. So, if you're going to touch your face, make sure that you wash your hands. You need to wash your hands because it's going to get the germs over there and then obviously it won't sit in your pores, you're less likely to have breakouts and things like that. And then when your hands are clean, you're ready to touch your face. Now on a morning, I don't really have to do much with my skin because my main goal for the day is to protect it from the sun because, hi, I'm a pasty bitch. So, where did my housekeeper put it? Oh, there it is. So I'm just going to grab my daily kind of average moisturizer I'm running out. It's the simple um, Triple Protect Moisturizer SPF 30 and it's got blue light protectant. Obviously I look at my phone and um, my laptop a lot. So I usually take, it's definitely running out, about this much. I have a big face. And I put it on my neck and sometimes my ears as well. So I kind of just rub it in my hands. This is probably not the best um, SPF if you have a darker skin tone and I try to just kind of lightly touch my skin so I'm not like pulling at it and try and move in like little circular motions usually upward if we can help it like if I'm on my neck I move upwards but this is probably not the best for darker skin tones because it does leave an ever so slight white cast or but if you do keep working it into your skin very well you can um, it does dissipate but I usually put on about this much. Now, I like a super hydrating cream. So every so often I will put a drop. I'm not doing it because it's kind of warm today so my skin will naturally produce enough oil. But um, I'll put a drop of face oil in with the SPF and work that into my skin so that it doesn't, so that it gives like a little bit of an extra layer of moisture. But that is really what I do with my skin every day mostly. Now obviously, if I'm going on camera, usually I'll put on a little concealer under my dark eyes. Um, but this is like me just going and doing everything in my daily life. So I'll be back later with my evening skincare routine and how I like exfoliate and all that good stuff. Hello, it is officially later than the end of the day. So let's get into that. I have just used a simple wipe I think the anti-aging ones <laughs> um, on my face to get like the dirt and grime off my face because I usually just wash my face when I get in the shower, etc. So I'm just gonna pin my hair back and talk through my evening skincare routine. So I look cute. I don't know. Does it matter? No. So when I get in the bath or in the shower, oh, damn it. As I ruin it, I use these little facial loofah scrub things. Um, I think you can get them at the body shop or you can get them online. They're like a little facial pad. Twice a week, I will go over this very gently, just like softly over my skin. You don't need to be scrubbing at it. I do that two, twice a week, just kind of rub, avoid the eye area mostly, softly twice a week to exfoliate because let's talk retinol. So I currently am enjoying the face theory Reganal, Re Regana Calm Serum. I never knew what it was because basically I wanted a serum that had both a vitamin C extract and a retinol in it and this is 2% um, because vitamin C like brightens your skin and retinol basically by the time that you are 25 your skin produces 1% less collagen every year so you begin to age at 25 technically. Retinol helps speed up the production of collagen and regenerates the skin and like so it's kind of its own little chemical exfoliant and this also has um, licorice dill licorice dill yes and um, the vitamin C like I mentioned before so I probably pump I shake it first because um, it's quite a thin serum solution sorry about the overhead lighting in here but yeah I'll put all the products in the bio and I probably take like two pumps like that it's kind of a not a very appetizing color, you know, like, it's a slightly beigey, but I also think, like, at least you know it's not, like, bleached white. It's just, like, this is the color it turned out to be. And I kind of just rub that again into my hands and place it all over my face because 
including under my eyes. Yes. This will gen regenerate the skin. Um, if you are using a retinol, it's important to use an SPF because your skin is kind of more exposed and a little bit more raw. So, that's that. And this will dry down quite mattified. Obviously as well, before I came on camera, I washed my hands. Because when we're touching the face, you need to wash your hands. So next, um, I'm on to eye cream. And I'm using currently, I do kind of shop around with eye creams, but this is the Temple Spa Eye Truffle 24 hour eye rejuvenator. And by the way, none of the products that I'm using this are sponsored. I wish they were. Um, and I take about that much. You don't need much around your eyes, but eye cream is important because it's a different cream to moisturizer. It usually is, and I just kind of beat it on like that. Because you're, you're, the skin around your eyes is very fine. And also, I think my dermatologist friend told me, I don't know if she did tell me this, but I think she did. You don't have like oil producers around your eye. You know, like on your nose, you have pores here, you have pores here that make it oily and greasy. Your eyes don't have that, so they need moisturization on it. And so I kind of just let that dry. Usually at this point I would brush my teeth because while I'm letting that kind of... I do that. Do I use toner? Sometimes. Usually if I do like a really, like a mask or something, I'll put on an alcohol-free toner. I don't have one to hand, I can't see one in front of me. I did have one, don't know where it's gone. Anyway, my favorite cream to use on an evening. I like a really hydrating, quite moisture-rich cream. Um, obviously, a lot of people don't like the feeling of something heavy on the skin. That's just my preference. Um, and I understand that heavier creams sometimes make people break out. It is what it is. But I love the classic Le Mer cream. I, like I said, I'll put these down below. This, I think, is the 30 milliliter jar. And I believe this was about... Should we find out the price? Okay, yeah. So it's 130 pounds for 30 mil. Now, I have some dupes if that's a little bit in the kind of luxury price point, but I really do like the cream. Uh, um, it sits well on my skin. Le Mer says to warm up the product on your fingers and then put it on your face because it's so thick. It, um, the original cream is so thick, it like needs warming up, but I prefer to do my own method, which is leave dots of it on the skin and wait for it to warm up on my face and like neck and stuff. So then I like move it and rub it around. Just my kind of routine. And I will address the beard as well. So with the neck, I usually start and move upwards so that I can move upwards and not like drag product down my neck. I chose the wrong outfit, but obviously I don't wear this to bed. I'm going to change into my pajamas afterwards. So by this point, by the time I go up to my neck, um, I can just start to rub this in and kind of just move again in little circular motions. So that's that. I miss my temple on this side, so I can spread some over there. Probably more than you need, but you know, was it? Is it? Isn't it Elizabeth Hurley that says? She used bucketfuls of moisturizer, that's how she looks good for her age. So yeah, let's just follow that. Okay, and the neck. So I try to move in like upward motion so you're not like pulling, you know, you're not doing gravity's job for you. And that is what it is. Okay. I also try and get a little top tip. You see this little space here between your ear and cheek? Try and put a little cream there. There's just residual cream on my hand. Because I see people of a particular age with slight lines here as the skin is pulling down. It's not what I want for myself. So that's that. And then I will take a beard oil in because obviously all of this is not getting any moisture besides the oils that are in my beard. Um, I just picked this up literally at the supermarket. It's not anything too special. I mean, I probably should be using something with like Jehovah oil or not or whatever, but this is just the Bulldog Skin Care for Men Original Beard Oil. It's got aloe, it's got uh, camelina in it, it's got green tea, 
sounds okay, it smells pretty good. I probably take about one, two, three, four, five. Bonus drop there. And just rub that into my hands and then just put that in my beard. And moustache kind of area. Yeah. And not only does this kind of keep your beard in, I guess, in kind of a fairly moisturised condition, so it's not all kind of and softened as well, it also will be putting some hydration on the skin underneath. So I got to bed looking as shiny as this and as crazy as this. Now obviously, like I said, the Le Mer cream is a little bit of a luxury price point, so if you want something that's a little bit more down to earth, um, I use, when I'm travelling, the L'Occitane 25% um, Ultra Riche Shea Butter. I'm nearly out. It smells excellent. Um, and that's a similar effect, it's quite thick and heavy on your skin before bed and like, I find that this is really great in winter, so that's that. I think this retails for like around the £35 mark, which is what, $45? Um, if that again is a little bit on the pricey side, I'm aware that, you know, some people don't want to spend a lot on skin cream. Um, something that I use on if I ever get a little dry skin patch is the original Nivea cream, which is absolutely excellent and it's very good for sensitive skin. Well, it is on mine, I have sensitive skin. Ugh, and it just has this kind of, it smells like a, I mean, the formula hasn't really changed in a hundred years um, and it's just, it smells like a hundred year old cream. It's slightly kind of grandma -y, but in a kind of comforting way. And you know, I can just use that. This is very thick again, and this actually, if you have a darker skin tone, might leave a little bit of a skin, sorry, a white cast on your skin. So I'd use it more sparingly, um, and it'll kind of go like this, very shiny. But it's thick, and it will, you can use this on darker skin tones, it just has to kind of melt in, you have to really work it in. Um, and that is, I think this tub, which is 200 mil, was three pounds, four pounds. So there are my dupes, the L'Occitane Shea Butter thing and the Niv original Nivea cream. So thankfully I have them all together. Sometimes I like to take the cheaper one like on vacation just because if I lose it, it's like, oops. And I lose so many neat things. And that's that. That's the skincare routine. That's my daily skincare routine for the most part. I mean, let me think if I'm missing anything out. Not really. I don't really get facials. I haven't had Botox in a very long time, I used to get it here, but then I realised there was no point because it, if I have no lines, I still have a bag because my cheeks push up because I have chipmunk cheeks. Um, so the only Botox I'll be getting at any point soon would be here. And I don't need it here because my eyebrows, I don't have those lines on my forehead. So that's that, I, don't, I haven't done anything with my face. Um, I'm not old, old enough really, but um, we'd like to keep it this way. So that's my kind of maintenance. For me, I believe this isn't a very intensive skincare. It's just SPF in the morning, sometimes with a little face oil. Evening is retinol and eye cream and a moisturizer, and then a beard oil. Really not difficult at all. And I go to bed, I sleep like this. No, but I try to tr try to try and sleep on my back because your skin will be left. When you sleep on your side, you push all of your skin like this, and it's not great for sleeping. I've been to, I don't think I've been to a plastic surgeon's office, but I've been to like a cosmetic or procedure office and she can tell what side of my face I sleep on if I happen to sleep on it, like she knew. So if she can tell by looking at me, obviously it must impact on your face the way that you sleep. So yeah, try sleep on your back, that's kind of my skincare tips. Obviously, as well, the thing that helps your skin the most is from the outside in. You need to be hydrated, a diet high in vegetables, fibre, fruit, but not too much fruit because sugar. And I guess I would say easy on the animal products, so eggs, meat, dairy and fish. They do cause me, personally, to break out more. So like at Christmas time, like the week after Christmas because I'll be like indulging in all of those kind of rich animal based foods and like creamy things and butter and things like that, I'll get like bad skin. So the best thing that honestly always worked for my skin, even when I had like quite bad acne as a teenager, 
was having a better diet. So that's my skincare routine. It's pretty simple. Appreciate you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a great big thumbs up, comment down below, please subscribe, ring the bell or not, it's all good. But I would appreciate that greatly. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.